If you want to start making your own 2D RPG games, there is no better software than the RPG Maker. Here you can fully focus on designing your game. Just paint the tile map, use the event editor to add the logic behind your game and click deploy to publish your game. And here is your very first RPG game published on each IO. This is because all other systems like movement or battling are already implemented for you so that you can use them in your own games. Now the newest installment of the RPG Maker called Unite was recently released on Unity Asset Store and it is available as an asset that you can use in Unity to create your own RPG games. I was given a test key to try out the asset and to let you know is it any good. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. To test this asset, I have first created a small zombie game in RPG Maker MV version and it took me about two days to finish and to have it playable and published on each.io, which is pretty great and it shows how powerful the RPG Maker game engine is. Next, I wanted to recreate the same game in the RPG Maker Unite version. First, I had to download the RPG Maker Unity package it can take up to 40 minutes for the asset to be ready to use. Luckily, it is just one time setup because next you can use this create a new project icon to create a basic project or sample game project wherever you want. Select the location, press OK. You will still have to wait about 10 or 12 minutes to set it up, but it's better than 40 minutes downloading the asset from the asset store. When you first run the project, you will see that you have a project template to play with and you can just press play here. What I really like about the RPG Maker installments is that all the systems, the RPG systems like the dialogue, the movement, the menus, as well as the transitions between scenes or even battle system are already implemented into the asset or the game engine so you can reuse them in your own games. If you are familiar with other RPG Maker installments, you will find some new cool features like this RPG scene outline, which shows you the progression of your game between different chapters in your story and between different maps in your game. Another feature is that the database is now all accessible from this column on the left, so you can edit everything here, select the object, and you have the preview in the column on the right. I like to move this to the uh, near the database so that I can see everything in one place and you can edit of course your map by selecting the map edit map and you will see in the preview window here all the map all the tiles and everything is accessible from one window you do not have to click anywhere else another cool new feature is that we can now define how many animations our sprite has so we can set it one and you will see that those are the animations for our character we can decide how many frames our animation has and how fast do we want to play it like we can set it to 80, so this will be much slower. And we can swap the animation to preview how different animations will look like when they are played, which is an upgrade to what the previous version has offered us. I opted for creating a new project to properly test the asset. And the empty project has surprised me because it already has the uh, empty map that we can use but the play button is still unavailable but we have our character everything seems to be set up properly so it seems that i need to right click on this and uh, create a new event and only when i have a new event i can press play as you see the game is working i have turned off the music because it's pretty loud and we can press play and we have the map working although we have our custom event but we do not want to have this so there are some problems with this now, don't get me wrong, there is a full RPG Maker Unite beginners tutorial as well as the web manual documentation, for example, how to resize your tiles so that they will fit the auto tiling of the RPG Maker Unite version. So everything is there for you to look for and to find out how to do in the, this installment of the RPG Maker. Still, there seems to be a lot of those small issues like here we have the play button and right next to it we have the save and exit button and to be honest I have probably pressed it five or ten times already when I just wanted to press play or stop my game to change something and this can be really frustrating. 
At the same time, RPG Maker Unite comes with a lot of pre-created assets. We also have a lot of characters that we already have working so that you can reuse for your own game. And this is all about creating games and designing them rather than on coding everything by hand. You can modify the skills. For example, you can modify icon of the attack, you can modify the stats. You can, of course, add your own assets by registering a tile data. And you can go to your folder where you have those tiles. But it is a bit different than previously. In this installment, you have to split your tiles into separate images and only then you can import them. And when the data is imported, you have to search this long list to find what you have imported and then you can select in the column on the right what it is and then save it. And then you will see that the image is too small or not and you need to resize it to prepare this image for the RPG Maker Unite. In the previous version, all you did was open the resource manager and you selected the tile set and import the tiles that you wanted and it imported them automatically into your project and then you would use them to paint your tiles on your map. Also, in the Unite version of the RPG Maker, you can't really multiple select those assets. You need to go one by one to them, go to the column on the right and reset the tile type and save it and go further with all the assets that you have imported, which is a bit time consuming. Well, after you prepare your tiles, the painting of tiles is still pretty nice. You can still paint those tiles and you have even this eraser tool, which allows you to remove the tiles that you have painted and reset them to be something else, like the road that I have painted here. When we are done with our map, I wanted to add the zombie logic where the zombie will run towards the player and trigger a battle so that we can fight it. So let's implement this in Unite. To do that, we need to go to our outline of our game. It is in the column on the left. And I have a couple of events, one of which is the enemy. And we add those pages to the events. And in the bottom tab, you can see that the events are here processed. And we have those uh, this window right click and new event. And we can add different events to change different things. So we do not need any coding skills to add logic to our enemies. And depending on the page, we are doing different stuff here. Now, the problem that I had was that I could not make it work like I did in the MV version. In the pages of the events, we can specify the movement type. So right now, if I start editing, you can see that this is the path that my uh, enemy will take. But I can't really change in the page 2 or page 3 that the enemy will start approaching. It will just continue to walk by, uh, and pace this path. So instead, what I have decided was to add a message and you can right click create a new event select the message show the text and type the message in my case it was brain and all you do is next go to the column on the right and you can specify what is the image what happens during this message and everything here is done through this visual uh, window rather than through scripting so it is a great tool for anybody that wants to just get into making games without learning how to code or without implementing those uh, fighting systems and we can of course delete this event and if i now play, play test my game our game works we have the menu by default we can cl click new game and we just walk towards the zombie and now i can see this message instead of the zombie chasing me and uh, starting the battle and everything here is preset for us, so the battle system was already there. I just implemented the event to start it, and we can press fight, attack, and we can attack any zombie that we want. And we can see that the fight commences, and this is all out of the box inside the RPG Maker uh, Unite version. But there are some problems with this asset. For example, I constantly get some errors warnings here in the console, and at some point I had this error where the Unity was complaining that it cannot render the UI, after which the project just crashed. So it isn't a great experience right now with this current implementation of this asset. Besides that, in the database, if I go to shared settings of the UI and try changing in the column on the right the show character way, I'm going to select face icon and there is this wait time and it happens a lot with when working with this asset and I need to wait and okay I didn't want that let's select the other one 
again, the wait time. And it takes a lot of patience for me to wait through those wait times. With all those wait times, it isn't that great of an experience. Obviously, the great thing about the RPG Maker is that we can quickly build our game and publish it. And to be honest, with the Unity implementation of the WebGL build, I had some problems and tried multiple times to build it and still couldn't make it run. So I opened it for creating a PC build, which ran pretty fine. So I guess some tweaking of the settings of the project would help. In comparison, the build in the RPG Maker MV just works on the Ichio page. We can't also ignore the elephant in the room, which is the price of this asset and uh, the two-star overall review of the asset itself by other users. And honestly, I'm not that surprised because it requires a bit more work for this asset to be usable by the beginners or people who don't want to deal with all the errors. Now, I bet that most of those bugs will be fixed with future updates, but right now the process of creating the RPG game in the RPG Maker Unite can be a bit frustrating, but that's only my experience by using this asset to create a small zombie RPG game. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.